so an orientation to the course I think is important just to give the student a roadmap of what they can expect in the course. Um, course schedule, for example, is something that we would use in a course overview as part of it where they could see every single module, the readings that are required, the activities that they ex are expected of them, and how they're going to be ex uh, assessed. So they can kind of see the whole class as a, uh, a roadmap and what to expect and how to plan. Um, as far as what's due every week, they can kind of plan out their day. A lot of online students have families, have jobs. They are taking online courses because they need the flexibility. And if they can see what they have to do every week and see the pattern of what's due every week for the whole entire semester, they can really plan out their week and fit in when, pick times when they need to, uh, when they, when they need to work and plan it out better. Um, I think the module overview is very important as well so that every week when they log in they could just see and be reminded of uh, what's due and when it's due. We're trying to move more to the multimedia and video avenue so the students can actually see the instructors and connect with them and they'll give them an overview exactly what to expect. Um, I mentioned before the, the course schedule so we like to have almost like an Excel spreadsheet where they get to see week by week the assignments, the readings, the assessments and maybe even like we're moving into a module video overview as well so the faculty member will introduce the module and give them a reminder of what's due. At MCC there has historically not been a template. I know that we have a template now um, but students could be taking my class and an intro to business class, an intro to philosophy class and when they log in it's all going to look different um, and so it's very easy for a student who's new to an online environment to get lost and you want to give that student right away some um, sense of how to navigate your course in particular because uh, it's I mean you, you might have a student when I first started teaching before I had a really good sense of how to create the overview I might have a student three weeks in say I just had no idea how to navigate and so I've missed the first three weeks you know um, so that so that's why it's important um, so what I've done in my class is uh, I've, I've kind of beefed it up over the years. The more tools that I, that I learn how to use, the, the better I think I am at helping students navigate. Um, so I have now, I used to use a PowerPoint lecture, but now I actually have a, a PowerPoint video um, that I created in our new um, lab. Um, and so just, you know, uh, screenshots of where, where students need to find things. Uh, and then uh, making sure that they have something that they can download and print as well and keep with them to navigate the course if they need to, but just giving them lots of options to figure the course out. So a lot of faculty don't see the value of doing a course overview and a module overview. They feel like it is repetitive. Um, they also don't always see the value in, in doing a specific course schedule in an Excel spreadsheet because they kind of do something along those lines, maybe not uh, in detail but they do something along those lines in the syllabus. So they don't see the value of breaking that down to a specific document. I think the most obvious pitfall is not recognizing that other professors might set up the course very differently than you set it up. And so assuming that students ha are tech savvy, um, you know, we talk about digital natives and digital immigrants, and I think we make a lot of assumptions about what our students are capable of figuring out. And I think it's also, um, there's a lot of students who will get in and and if they can't figure out in 30 seconds, one minute, they're busy and they're just done. They're out of there. Um, so I think you have to think as a professor, what's the most expedient way of providing this information to the students and um, making sure that you have all kinds of ways for the student to get into, the, it, get into an understanding of how the course is set up. So visual, print, audio, um, just making that accessibility factor key. I think another pitfall is that, that faculty, because we're very busy, um, we have a lot of obligations, we don't respond to our online students as quickly as we need to sometimes. Um, and I think it's super important in the first, to, in the first the orientation week that we provide at MCC, but then also in the first one or two weeks of the course, um, to as quickly as possible get back to students who are confused and to provide them um, a discussion box right up front that, you know, here, uh, voice your concerns about the course or voice your confusion about the course 
um, give them the opportunity to uh, call you, uh, make sure that they know that they can do that to stop in your office if they are on campus, um, but just to check in with them constantly. And I think one of the pitfalls is we get, those first couple weeks are busy for all of us and it's very easy for us to forget about an online course and the needs that students might have, but those first three weeks I think are essential.